What is going on, squad? Ty here. About to do some playthrough of Hogwarts Legacy. I'm so excited about this. My gamer tag used to be a gifted muggle. I am the biggest fan of Harry Potter. So, like, let's go on this magical adventure together. Wiganweld potion. That stuff will write you in a second. What happened? Poor oh, George. Will you trade me back? I can't believe he. What the hell got into that damn thing? Attacking a carriage yeah, midair? It's a typical side. dragon would never... Professor? <sighs> Sir, where are we? I'm not sure. But that key you discovered was clearly a port key. Port key? An item enchanted to bring whoever touches it to a specific place. I'm feeling better, sir. Over if it. you'd like to look around a bit. I would. But stay close. We've no idea who created this port key. Or why. Wow. Just, it's so incredible, squad. Like, look at that. Oh. Far did that port key take us? Farther from London than the carriage travelled. We're somewhere in the Scottish Highlands. Sir, those roads. Do you think the port there, key bro. was meant to lead us there? I do. This has not been the day either of us expected. But Miriam sent that port key to George for a reason. And I believe that she, and now George, died in pursuit of whatever it was meant to lead to. If you're sure you're all right and wouldn't mind indulging me, I'd like to have a look around. Absolutely, sir. Good. Let's see if we can find a path, however faded it may be. Mind your step. Where do you suppose your wife got the poor key that brought us here? A good question. Miriam spent years searching for evidence of a long-forgotten form of ancient magic. Ancient magic? Yes. A powerful magic wielded by a rare few that seems to have been lost to time. <sighs> Hogwarts Castle was built by and is itself a stronghold of that ancient magic. I don't know where she came into possession of the port key, but I am certain it was to do with that search. Ah, there's the path down below. This way. But sir, why was your wife searching for evidence of lost magic? Why not, Miriam wanted to understand why such powerful magic disappeared from the wizarding world. Spoke of the good it could do. But magic is no different than any power. What really matters is the one who wields it. Is that ice? It's not cold enough here. It appears to be a sort of enchantment. Someone wanted to block this path. Let's see some of that wand work you were practicing. Focus on the center. That was a bit rougher than I'd expected. Your wand works improving with every cast. Thank you, sir.
We're close now. It's just ahead. Steady yourself! Why would someone have built this here? I suspect they valued their privacy. That port key oh, led us God, here for a reason. Incredible. Let's have a look around for anything that seems out of place. Professor, it's a mural of some kind. Hmm. Perhaps our host was a noted seer. Interesting. Professor, this statue... This may have been his home. That enchanted crystallized stone again. But what could it be blocking? What's this? Professor Fink! <laughs> the rope How odd. Though. Why would someone have conjured that enchanted stone here? And how is there a room behind it? What room? I don't see anything. There's that glow again. Like the glow on the port key container. What in Merlin's name? Godric's heart. Where are we? I don't believe it. Hello? It is Green Gods. <clears throat> it's a goblin. Yep. It's a goblin, Harry. <clears throat> it can't be. Oof. Uh, just a moment. <laughs> oh, <clears throat> uh, where do we begin? <laughs> Welcome to Gringotts Wizarding Bank. That is kind of cute, actually. <laughs> Vault number 12, I presume. <clears throat> Precisely. The key? Hmm? Your wife's port key. Oh, yes, of course. This way, then. Stay close. <whistles> After. 
to you. inside the cart if you don't wish to lose them. <laughs> Number 12, as we speak, Whoa. we're just beneath the main lobby. The vaults you see now are the newest. Are private entrances to the bank common at Gringotts? They are most uncommon. Only one with great wealth or power, or both, could have arranged for such a service. You'll want to take a breath. A what? That waterfall washes away all enchantment. It's a security measure. Experienced the thief's downfall before, have you? Heard of it? These are the lower vaults that we're passing now. How deep are we going? Vault number 12 was commissioned shortly after Gringotts was founded over four centuries ago. It resides in the deepest part of the bank. Settle in. We've quite a distance to go. Number. Vault 12. Momentous day. <laughs> hmm. On your way. wondering about that goblin back there. He watches over the oldest section of the bank. Rare anyone goes there anymore. been stationed at my desk for hundreds of years. In that time, no one has visited Vault 12 until today. Vault 12, thank you for your help. What do you suppose we should be looking for? I'm not sure. Sir, I wonder if you might... The instructions for Vault 12 indicate that I am to grant access to the holder of the key and then close the door. Wait! Mr. Buck? <sighs> Professor? That was certainly unexpected. Let me think. There must be something here. He just will lock me mm. in. Revelio, perhaps. Revelio? Yes, a revealing charm. No time like the present. Let's see what we're missing, shall we? Ready your wand and focus. Spell? Revelio. <laughs> there. Cool. I saw something. 
Move a bit closer and try again. A door? Well, that's a start. There's that symbol again. I don't suppose you see a way to... I do, Professor. That symbol has the same glow as the one I saw on the port key container. If what you can see reveals the way forward, then I dare say we are about to discover the secret of this vault. <coughs> Lead the way. Lumos! This is no ordinary vault. I suspect we will need to earn our way out of here. What do you mean, earn our way out? Do you think this is some sort of test? I do. But to what end, I can't say. Stay close. There will be no disapparating if things go poorly. Not out of Gringotts. Revelio. I see something up ahead. What is it? That glow again, but on the floor. Lumos! What happened? When I moved towards the glow, it suddenly seemed as if the ground was swirling about. Are you all right? Yes, sir. I'm fine. You seem to have caused the floor to change. That statue? What statue? I see some sort of statue, but only as a reflection in the floor. Revelio. I presume this is what you saw reflected in the floor. Oh, it is. This is. The reflection's awesome. still there, but the statue's positions don't match. Wait. When you moved, the reflection turned in the direction of the light. Hmm. Perhaps you should cast Lumos. Lumos. Well done. Now the reflection's turning towards me. It does follow the light. Professor! Professor Fig! Professor, where are you? This isn't good. Where am I supposed to go? What's happening? The wisps of magic seem to be leading me somewhere. where they're leading me. That glow again.
Revelio. I suppose I'm on my own this time. Lumos. Seems I have no choice. I'm going to have to fight my way out of here. did you? What is this place? I don't know. But I found this floating above that basin. That is no mere basin. That is a pensive for viewing memories. I wonder. Bro, they, they did so well. I'm so impressed. It's so impressive. Follow my lead.
All is in place. The poor key is well hidden. Perhaps too well. I wonder if the path we've created may be impossible to follow. It will only be impossible for one who cannot see traces of ancient magic as I can. Your ability to see what others cannot will not be enough, Percival. We are entrusting the one who embarks on this path with powerful secrets, with knowledge others will do anything to obtain. Yes, and if we are correct, Charles, the witch or wizard who completes the trials will have proven themselves worthy of that knowledge and the responsibility that accompanies it. We've done all that we can. That's what you're seeing. The glow that surrounded them. Yes, sir. Astonishing. Can I see magic? Traces of an ancient magic, to be precise. The magic that Miriam had always believed existed, but could never. Miriam, and perhaps George, died in pursuit of knowledge that has been dormant for centuries. And you, it seems, are the key to understanding why. We were all looked rather different than it did a moment ago. <laughs> Someone's coming. Who were they? I don't know. But, sir, you shouldn't be in there. I was right. Ranrock. Seems my reputation precedes me. I was beginning to think no one was ever going to visit Rackham's vault. And why are you here? No need for that. Just give me whatever it is you found here and we can let bygones be bygones. <coughs> uh, sir, they had the key to the vault. <laughs> Choose your next words wisely. I... I only meant that the instructions to Vault 12 were quite clear. Sir, I, I must insist. I was to grant access only to one with the key, and you didn't have it. I have no patience for traitors. Now, where were we? I'm not giving you anything. Hmm. Well... Perhaps your young friend here will be more helpful. Fine, sir. I've never seen so powerful a goblin. He seemed wholly unaffected by my magic. Where are we? <laughs> it can't be. It seems those who set up the pensive, the locket, and the path to both wanted someone with your ability to end up here. Oh, Come. We have a sorting Back ceremony to get to. Bumps, bro.
Good. We haven't missed the sorting ceremony. I'm no expert, but that seems more appropriate. Now, I need to study this locket as soon as I can, but first I must contact the Ministry. They need to know what happened to George and be warned of Ranrock. For the moment, I ask that you keep all that's happened this evening between you and me. Of course, sir. Thank you. Ready for the sorting ceremony? This dude's beard is awesome. Phineas Nigellus. Oh Black. my god! <laughs> Prepare yourself to meet the headmaster. He looks like Fit. a black. Nice of you to join us. The sorting ceremony is over. There were complications. Complications? It seems the goblin Enough. problem has... Goblins. I've no time for rumors, Fig. And I'm rapidly losing whatever patience I had left. If you're lucky, we might still be able to get you sorted this evening. <clears throat> I'll be in touch. Professor Weasley, we've one more to be sorted. Welcome. You're just in time. Have a seat. Ah, yes. A bit older than the others, aren't you? You come here with preferences and preconceptions. Certain expectations. I want to do both. <laughs> I'm looking forward to meeting my professors and learning all I can at Hogwarts. Indeed. Hogwarts has much to offer a dedicated student. And what you learn in class will prepare you for challenges outside the classroom as well. Hmm, interesting. You've recently learned that you possess a rare ability. I detect a growing sense of ambition. Right. Eagerness for power. Perhaps you belong in Slytherin. You right. You belong in Slytherin! And one more thing. This man is Due to the unfortunate injury hell. on the pitch in last spring's final, this year's Quidditch season has been cancelled. Enough! It's not as though I've banned flying altogether. But don't tempt me. You are here to focus on your academic futures. I'm sure you will have plenty to do before classes begin tomorrow. I said, I'm sure you all have plenty to do before classes begin tomorrow. Quite an entrance. It's lovely to meet you. I'm... Professor Weasley, would you be so kind as to show our new student to their common room? I shall see to it, sir. As I was saying, I'm Professor Weasley. Pleased to meet you. Nice to meet you as well, deputy Professor. As Deputy Headmistress, it is my distinct <laughs> honor to show you to your common room. Right this way.
It's quite uncommon for a student to begin as a fifth year. It may be a bit of a challenge, but one I'm sure you're up for. I can be quite resourceful. I suspected as much. This is the entrance to the Slytherin common room. In order to enter, one must simply speak the correct password. Aspiration. Aspiration, let's go. <laughs> Very well. Aspiration. Well done. Now, go on in That's and way get better some than sleep. A portrait you hole. have a big day ahead of you tomorrow. I shall be back in the morning to collect you for your first class. Thank you, Professor Weasley. You're welcome. I hope you enjoy your first night at Hogwarts. Sleep well. Looks like everyone's gone. Better head to the common room. I suppose some introductions are in order. the new fifth year. I'm Sebastian Sallow. Welcome to Slytherin. Thank you. Not everyone has a ministry escort to school. He was a friend of Professor Figgs who merely joined us for the ride. Still, impressive. Dreadful way to go, poor fellow. Glad you and Fig are all right. It was dreadful, certainly, but quite an experience nonetheless. Interesting perspective. How did you and Fig manage to escape? It's all still a bit of a blur, to be honest. Didn't mean to press. You just get yourself settled. We can talk more later. What book were you reading? A spell book I picked up. Has a few interesting things, but not exactly what I was looking for. I'm sure you'll find out soon enough, but not every spell you may need can be found in our assigned textbooks. Are you saying some spells aren't taught at Hogwarts? Which ones? Seems I may have met a kindred spirit. <laughs> that is a conversation for another time. It was good meeting you. Good luck today. Have you been in any other I wouldn't do that if I were you. want to think that again. Ugh, not going to move there, are you? Here, watch this. Don't say I didn't warn you. Checkmate. Told you. You should have listened to me. Ah, oh, I know who you are. You're the new Slytherin, the one who barged in with Professor Fig last night. Interesting tactic on your first day, taking all the attention away from the first years. 
I'm Imelda, by the way. Shame I wasn't with you and Fig. I could have lured that dragon away. My skills on a broom are legendary. Perhaps Professor Fig's friend would have survived if we'd had your help. Precisely. Perhaps one of these days I'll show you a thing or two about flying. I can teach you more than Kagawa ever could. Speaking of which, I'd like to get in some time on my broom before classes. Are you a keen Wizard Chess fan? You knew that boy was going to lose the match. Not really. Much too sedate a pastime for me. Also, it's simply not that challenging. The moves are always so obvious. Why does no one else see it? Do you have a lot of time to fly during school? I make the time. There's nothing like swerving through the spires of the castle and around the Quidditch pitch to clear the mind. Goodbye, Imelda. Nice meeting you. I think I heard one. Hmm. Doubt mermaids find us that interesting. Ah, Is based on all the chatter when you entered the common room, I'm guessing you're the new fifth. Year. Cool. I'm Ominous. Ominous Gaunt. Nice to meet you, Ominous. Well, you certainly had a memorable arrival. I'd much rather have arrived on time and without a dragon attack en route. I'm sure. How horrible. I can only imagine. Well, it's good to have you in Slytherin. Do let me know if I can be of any help as you navigate your first days here. eyes look like they've been broken like glass. Were you expecting to be sorted into Slytherin? Most certainly. My family on my father's side are direct descendants of Salazar Slytherin, one of the four founders of Hogwarts. Not something I'm especially proud of, mind you. He was obsessed with blood status, a pure blood maniac. Unfortunately, I just most realized of his he's a gaunt. Far from that tree. Oh my god, this is awesome. <laughs> Did that student say he thought he heard a mermaid? <laughs> yes, but I've never heard of a mermaid showing up outside our common room window. It is fun to play along, though. Been known to keep some first years on the lookout for hours. Thank you, Ominous. Very nice to meet you. Pleasure was all mine. Ominous Don't be a stranger. Gaunt. Is the new fifth year Slytherin in here? Professor Weasley's waiting for you just by the stairs. <clears throat> Do you find yourself taking certain ways to pass things on the I do. Yo, not gonna lie, the Slytherin common room is way better than the, the Gryffindor one, man. This is crazy cool. of that thing oh my god oh i can't get another one only one cupcake per person all right bro you can steal people's stuff This must be the female norms. That's Seems awesome. To me. Oh. Cool. Oh my gosh, the details, man. The 
details. morning. I trust you're ready for your first day at Hogwarts? I've been dreaming of this day for a long time. Can't believe I'm here. Well, you are here. Make the most of it. You only have one first day at Hogwarts. Now, in light of your unique situation, joining us as a fifth year, you'll need to catch up with your classmates and not fall behind. Especially as you'll be expected to complete your OWLs at the end of the year. OWLs? Owls? Yes, your ordinary wizarding level exams. They will determine what type of career you can have when you leave here. After much discussion with the headmaster and the Department of Magical Education at the Ministry, we've devised something extraordinary to ensure your success. Here you are. The guide will give you opportunities to practice your magic and educate yourself about wizarding lore. I just love this common room. It's so Do crazy keep up. cool. Why don't Whoa. you cast Revelio on that statue and see what Revelio. details the field guide can provide? Clever, isn't it? <laughs> Keep your eyes open for more. Like that, inside and outside of the castle. timing. Perfect opportunity to show you how to use blue flames to get around a bit quicker. Blue flames. Your field guide contains a map of the castle. Open it up and find Central <coughs> Hall. Oh my god.
green flu flames represent flames you have discovered, including your own house, common room. Gray flu flames reveal locations. Okay. Alright, so this is where you find academic points of interest, including the astronomy tower, library, and greenhouses. Select the library annex region to continue. Professor Weasley has unlocked the central hall flu flames for you. Press A and D to rotate the map and fast travel. What? Bro, it's a whole 3D map? Oh, man. That was somebody's job. Like, somebody's job was just to create, like, that was, no, it was more than one person. Just to create this, like, interactive 3D map? Man. <laughs> Too cool, bro. Too cool. And here we are, quite the time saver. These stairs lead directly to Central Hall. You can get almost anywhere in the castle quickly from Central Hall. Something happening here. It's the heart of the hive. Our King's Cross Station, so to speak. If anyone needs help, that should be all for now. You'll be expected to attend both Charms and Defense Against the Dark Arts classes today. Gladly. And I'd like to be sure you get to Hogsmeade as soon as possible to replace the supplies you lost on the way here. You mentioned Hogsmeade, Professor. Hogsmeade is the only all-wizarding village in Britain and is home to an array of shops and pubs. You should be able to find all of the school supplies you require in Hogsmeade. You will also, I imagine, enjoy many a butterbeer there with friends in due course. Thank you, Professor Weasley. A lot to absorb on your first day, and you have much to learn. Happily, your professors have agreed to create additional assignments for you outside of class. You'll be up to speed in no time. Judging by your adept use of Revelio earlier, I'd say Professor Fig succeeded in at least showing you the basics. He did, Professor. He's been terribly vague as to the events preceding your arrival, specifically about what happened after that awful dragon attack. My suspicion is that there's more to the story than a search for belongings and an extended trip up to the castle. We did take a bit of a detour on the way here. Ended up exploring some ruins and... I shouldn't say more. Exploring ruins? Well, I presume Professor Fig has his reasons for keeping the details to himself for now. Speak of the devil, Professor Fig. Your ears must have been burning. Oh? Yes. You seem to have provided our new fifth year with a solid foundation in the basics of spellcasting. Ah, I'm afraid I can't take all the credit there, Professor. They've a rare aptitude for magic, it seems. Hmm. Well, I'm just glad you both arrived in one piece. Perfectly good boats and carriages to Hogwarts, and you chose to fly in the path of a dragon. <laughs> I wouldn't say I chose the dragon's path, Professor. Rather unfortunately, it would seem that it chose us. Very well. It do seem that way, Enough though. Enough chit-chat. I need to get to class myself. Might I rely on you, Professor Fig, to explain the details of the field guide's map? Of course. Thank you. Good luck today. And remember to use your field guide. It will be invaluable to you. And invaluable to me, as I'll be using it to keep up to date on your progress. Yes, Professor. 
Come and find me in my classroom after you've attended both classes today and I'll explain more about those assignments I mentioned. And we'll see if we can't get you to Hogsmeade for those supplies. It's good to see you, Professor. And you. I was hoping our paths would cross today before you immersed yourself in studies. Did I hear you and Professor Weasley talking about exploring ruins? She caught me off guard. I didn't tell her anything else about our travels here. I will say, I think she suspects we're not being entirely forthcoming. Yes, well, Professor Weasley is a brilliant and astute witch. It was right to keep the details to yourself for now. We don't know where this path we've embarked upon will lead. It may require a bit more flexibility with your time than she would approve of. And she may feel obliged to share details with the headmaster that would be better left between us. Understood, Professor. Good. Now, as capable as you are, I believe the ability you possess obliges you to be well-trained. Happily, you have the benefit of an exceptionally skilled team of witches and wizards to guide you. Speaking of guides, and so that I may avoid another not-so-subtle reproof from Professor Weasley, why don't I show you the clever enchantment we included in the field guides map? Unfold it and have a look. can fucking use my flash as a ring light, Kendi. <laughs> Bro, that's so much better than this one that's dying. It's a bit blinding. It's much. But I can turn it down. That's too dope. So dope. I love you. Thank you for understanding and being so supportive. The map is enchanted to help you find your way. This will be incredibly helpful. Thank you. Now, sounds like you've quite a day ahead, what with classes and a trip to Hogsmeade for supplies, including your own wand. You'll enjoy Mr. Ollivander. He's an exceptional craftsman and a good friend. I shall reach out when I have more information about our mysterious locket. For now, focus on your classes and pay attention. More than your owls may hinge on the magic you are able to master within these walls.
like the magic from earlier. You know, Kendi always says, like, video game tutorials have gotten so cool. And I have to agree. Like, that was a really cool way to get you prepared to follow a magical line in this video game. That's just so cool. Bro, this is sick. This is so sick. Whoa. Ooh, they track you. Creepy. I want one. I want one. Yeah, that's sick. be good enough to blast each other to pieces in your own time. I get new students every year, but I only have one Hebridean black skull. It was a token from the great poacher raid of 1878. No doubt you've heard of it. Now, you may be asking yourself how an old woman like me single-handedly took out the largest poacher ring in eastern Wales and lived to boast about it. Knowledge. Sick. To the wise, age matters very little. Today we will review a spell that has saved me from death at the hands of dark wizards more times than I care to remember. Levioso. Levioso? A levitation charm? Levioso! A surprised opponent is a weak opponent. Care to defend yourself, Master Pruitt, no? Hey Siri, turn on the tie side. One thing I've learned as an unspeakable is the value of simplicity especially in the heat of battle. Now, let's practice okay, what we've just Turn learned. On side. Starting with something small. Okay, Google, turn tie side to 100%. Levioso. Turn on tie. Now, let's try something a little larger. Okay, Google, we'll turn on tie. Let us begin with a basic cast. See how the dummy deflected your cast. This time, cast Levioso first, then the basic cast. Remember, a surprised opponent is a weak. As master proves. So, now the basic well done. Good, but the best way to practice is by dueling. We'll start with you two. Duelist, take your marks. Time for a proper Hogwarts welcome. Now, <laughs> I want a fair duel using only Levioso, Basic Cast, and Protego. You may begin. Oh, I'm about to mess this guy up. Levioso. <laughs> lucky. Nothing lucky about it. I know. This is for the Tego first duel. Let's just say a moment. You're good. Tego. Let me also now perceptive. When all of my students do this again. Not bad for a beginner. You give as good as you get. I put you on the spot, and you rose to the challenge. Points to Slytherin. Thank Let's you, go. Professor Hackett. Slayer Glad to have boy. the opportunity to practice. If what I've seen today is any indication, we can expect great things from you. I demand excellence from my students. They are capable of achieving it, 
and they must achieve it. A classroom duel is one thing, but battling dark wizards, or as ever more likely, goblins, is a different kettle of Grindelows entirely. <laughs> Understood, <laughs> Professor. So, I'd advise you to keep practicing whenever you can. Perhaps Mr. Sally will have some ideas great. for you. This whole game Again, is well done incredibly today. beautiful. I shall reach out soon with additional assignments. All right. That I'm ray tracing up now that I figured out that issue. for one day. Class is dismissed. If you know the right spells, it's dark wizards that'll fear you, not the other way around. Oh. I'd hate to face Professor Hecate in a duel. God, you can break into the teacher's offices. Yes! Nice work. Ooh. That's a torture device. It's still got blood in it. Bro. It's kind of sick. Bro, this is a big ass dragon. Like, oh my goodness. The wingspan on this thing is insane. Man, I, I can't wait to fight a dragon. I enjoyed that. Well, that duel was quite something. Everyone will be talking about it. It was certainly good practice. Practice? Felt more like I was dueling an expert. Let's go. Didn't expect a new student to be so deft with a wand. Then again, perhaps this wasn't your first duel. In fact, it was. Perhaps I have a knack for it. Be coy if you like, but I know better. Magic requires intention and talent. You know, you might be a perfect fit for a certain exclusive, unsanctioned oh dueling God, organization. Dueling club. Exclusive and unsanctioned. Count me in. <laughs> Excellent. Knew I was right about you. If you want to get the most out of your time at Hogwarts, you're going to need to break the rules now and then. Whether it's joining a secret dueling club or sneaking into the restricted section of the library, you just have to be clever enough not to get caught. Thank you, Sebastian. I'll keep that in mind. Good. Pleasure chatting with you. I'm sure I'll see you soon. Perhaps somewhere unsanctioned? We'll see if your performance today was sheer luck or actual skill. Look for Luke and Brattleby near the clock tower entrance. If you're interested. Till next time. Off on another adventure, are we? Ignatia Wildsmith. That's a dope name. Oh my goodness. We finally get to see the whole castle. Wow. 
I legit didn't even think about how cool the moving All portraits were going to be. In the world. Everybody knows that. It's uh it's it's Wendell in the Weird! <laughs> yes! It's so awesome! Hold on. Oh my god, that's so cool! <laughs> I wish our common room was bigger. I can never find enough space to spread out myself. <laughs> That's so freaking cool. Oh. Oh, there's a bunch of them. Cool, dude. It's a story. love that must have gone into this man it's so cool it's just so cool what are you up to now Protego Levioso Revelio How inconvenient travel was before I invented. Professor Ronan tends to go on a bit. We sometimes have to remind him to finish the lesson. Here! Behind you! There is an open seat here. Thank you. Hello, I am Nettie. So you are the new student. Have you met Professor Ronan yet? <coughs> Shall we begin? <laughs> Welcome to year five of charms. Now, this will be a crucial year in your education on the art of charm work, but I am confident that we will take hold 
with a passion and rigor requisite of such a challenge. Right, now, everyone, please open your textbooks to page 517. But before we begin, can anyone here tell me the difference between the incantations of the color change and growth charms? Anyone? Anyone? <laughs> hmm? Ah, 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 ah. I am afraid it is too late to study now. Hmm. My, the summer months must have really taken a toll on you all. <laughs> By the looks of it, you all spent your holidays practicing obliviate on one another. <laughs> uh, hmm. Do you even remember how to perform a basic summoning charm? Hmm? Hmm. Well... It seems that we are in dire need of review. Everyone get into pairs and take positions on opposite sides of the classroom. Now let's put those textbooks to use as the blunt objects you so believe they are and take turns summoning them out of one another's <laughs> hands. Only one book will be needed per partnership, Miss Dale. Thank you. Get into place now. That is not bad. You are a swift learner. I see a lot of potential, but remember, potential is nothing without practice. Keep at it. You might just rival Miss Onai here. Very good, everyone. That's enough of that. Well, as you all seem to have the basics down, and it is an exceptionally lovely day, I was thinking that we might have ourselves a little excursion outside for a spot of fresh air. After me! Ah. I've always found that fun goes hand in hand with mastery, as I'm sure the Quidditch players amongst us would agree, hmm? <laughs> so, what better than a bit of sport to put our prowess with the summoning charm to the test, right? <laughs> so why don't we have our newest students start us off, hmm? Simply cast Akio on one of the spheres and relinquish your charge at the last possible. That now happens to the best of us. Excellent. Good. Not to worry. Splendid. Stay focused. Good. Points to Slytherin. But there's certainly no sport in playing without some friendly competition. Miss Onai, would you care to give our new student a bit of a challenge? Come on up. You'll be the blues, just as before, and Miss Onai, you are playing red. Clear? Yes, sir. Happens to the best of us. Oh, Let us see this.
That is how it's done. Akio. Let's make this a bit more interesting, shall we? <laughs> I think we are well past interesting at this point. I'll say. Hey, enough chatter. Focus now. You will need it. This round settles it all. Watch this. There we go. Akio. Not to worry. Excellent control there. Let us see this. Concentrate, Natsai. Akio. I mean, it's not quite as Very quite as good, fun. both of you. It's well fun. done. It's better than Gwent. Class is dismissed. Gather your things on the way out. Good game back there. I must admit, I think I underestimated you. Took me weeks to become proficient with Akio. Took weeks for me to get anything right when I transferred here. It gets easier, I promise. That's good to hear. It's a lot to take in all at once. To put it lightly, I remember how I felt when I first arrived. I transferred here from Wagadu just before my fourth year. My mother received an offer to teach divination here. Before I knew it, we had left Uganda and were halfway around the world at a new school oh, in a new from country. Uganda. Is Wagadu much bigger than Hogwarts? <laughs> Wagadu School of Magic is the largest wizarding school in the world. So yes, bigger than Hogwarts. Whoa. But it never seemed intimidating or overwhelming to me. It always felt like home. The wizarding school in Uganda is the largest wizarding school in the world. Is Wagadu a castle, like Hogwarts? Its address is Mountains of the Moon. It is not so much a castle as a beautiful edifice carved out of the mountainside. I remember the first time I saw it, the mist was so thick I could hardly make out anything at all. And then it just materialized before me, this enormous school that seemed to be floating in midair. Whoa. This may seem an odd question, but is magic the same there as it is here? Mm, mostly, yes. But I did have to learn how to use a wand when I arrived here. Hardly anyone at Wagadu uses one. Interesting. Spells cast without a wand must be less powerful than those cast with a wand. No, no, not at all. Wizarding magic cast without a wand is just as powerful. I find wandless magic to be much more instinctive, not to mention quite convenient if one is without their wand. I must admit, however, that I am growing quite fond of using a wand. It seems very dramatic. <laughs> 
I like you. It's nice to learn about another wizarding school. Thank you for asking. I do miss Wagadu, but I am glad to be here at Hogwarts. Ah, I think Professor Ronan wants to talk to you. Better not keep him waiting. Until next time. Of course, you oh. can use Akio on humans, if you're so inclined. Well, you'd be using it on clothing, to be precise, Sebastian. You know it won't work on humans. A word, if you would. You wanted to speak with me, Professor? I did. I trust your first charms lesson lived up to expectation? Well, an outdoor competition wasn't exactly the lesson I was expecting, sir. What charm is there in the expected? You did well, managing to best as gifted a student as Miss Onai. Thank you, Professor. I enjoyed the match. Miss Onai is always a fierce competitor, though I sense <laughs> that she is a bit distracted of late. <clears throat> now, Professor Weasley has asked that your professors give you instruction outside of the ordinary curriculum. Expect to hear from me soon regarding a special assignment that I am preparing for you. I want to see what I can do now. After my brother learned the summoning charm, it was constant Accio this, Accio that, cutlery flying everywhere. Quite unsafe, really. Yeah. Professor Ronan reminds me of my grandfather. Loads of wisdom, but a bit mad. Yeah, that's fair. All folks are like, it, that's just the thing. That's just what it is. West wisdom comes, you know, a little bit of madness. Ooh. Ooh. It spells. Cool. It's Levi Oso. Quietus. Legilimens, that's always been one of my favorites. Rapello Muggledom, that one's good too. <laughs> Hello there. You're the new student, aren't you? Revelio. Hello. You wanted to speak to me. Samantha Dale. I've been eager to meet you. You're the student everyone's been whispering about. Hope your first day's going well. You certainly seem to hold your own in charms. I've been fortunate. Beginner's luck. <laughs> My brother William Dang would tell you sure not to be so to humble be and to me. trust your abilities. Then again, he tends to be overconfident in his. Well, better see to my charms homework. I'm afraid I can't count on beginner's luck to impress Professor Ronan. My brother caused a lot of trouble in Professor Weasley. And then the werewolf joined the goblin. Ooh, pretty. It's like constellations. Cool, man. This is so cool. All right, I want to go back to the Slytherin common room. I've see always if I said can... that travel broadens the mind. <coughs> That's an interesting. Let's see. Blue flames locations, and I have no idea.
faculty tower, hospital wing. You really can traverse the whole castle? Man. Slytherin common room. Wow, I kind of knew where that was because of how much I've read the book. That's actually really cool. Oh, wow. Okay. That's... A, oh, wow. Bro, you just try to slap me as I walk by? Come at me like that. You imagine there's just a just knight's armor around and it tries to trip you as you walk by? Yeah. This one just reached out his arm and tried to hit me. Where is he? <laughs> yeah, for sure. Oh yeah, it's insane. Every little bit of this place was lovely. I enjoy having lunch down by the lake. By fans. Like the only people who could have made this are fans. It makes me pretty emotional, I'm not gonna lie. This is really like I spend all day incredible. In the green. So like, where's my bedroom? My oh, aunt yeah, says I here. should get to Hogsmeade as often as I can. I'm not supposed to know which one's mine. I've been marked. <coughs> I'm not allowed up there. Slytherin common room is so much better than like like no it's so much better than the Gryffindor common room the green is so pretty too alright so how do I change my clothes into the wardrobe Am I overthinking it? And it's here. Yeah. Circular lenses, so you can get some some Harry Potter glasses going on. Oh, good. Put a 
professional school role. But I don't like the way it looks. I'm gonna keep my slither and robes on for now. Um, under stuff. Oh my goodness. So I got whole long johns on, man. <laughs> I kind of dig it, actually. Are you supposed to wear boots when drinking? <laughs> it's too funny. Ooh, do I get my scarf? No, I want my Slytherin scarf. Breaches. The last time I was at Hogwarts, Madame Green had everything from Disney seeds to shrivel pigs. Just be careful. Shrivel pigs. She might be. Gardens at Hogwarts are impressive. Do you think garlic maintains them? Fast travel entry animation is beautiful. Like, fast traveling is really nice. That's a great addition. This, is how cost this castle is huge. Revelio. Sends me owls. Can't remember the last time I saw one. Not even the last time. I really want to learn that spell. Revelio. Accio, because I'm a wizard. Accio! I don't know how I'm supposed to start a fire. I don't have any matches. Matches? Are you a witch? Like when you just forget. You would forget, especially her. She was muggle born, muggle raised. Like it would, it would, there would be moments when you would just be like, I don't know what to do. Because <laughs> she's got one to fix Harry's glasses. Uh huh. It's specifically to fix eyeglasses. Yep. Or a viewing device, you know. Yep. Oh my 
goodness. Yeah. That's so sick. And if you were studying constellations, mm -hmm. you're gonna go search it. That's such a cool way to see it. It is, man. That's just so neat. So much to look at. Wait, I know this story. Who tried to train trolls for the ballerina for the ballet? Uh I know this story. This is in the book. He got gone he got he just got bonked hard. Oh, there it is. <laughs> He may have died this way. If, 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 man, I need to... Ah. No way! I found the room of requirement! Revelio. Where? That setup's kind of fire, though. Like your thinking area. Nothing to identify. For now, at least. Oh, you're pretty. You look like Hedwig. Yeah. Ugh. The room of... Well, you're cute. Talk to him. That's the uh that's fast travel. It is, it's sick too. This is definitely something as well. Akio. Revelio. Very right, cool. So this must turn into something later. <clears throat> I didn't look at any spoilers. I didn't watch one trailer. I didn't know anything when this came out. I literally am completely blind. I wanted it all to be a surprise. I didn't want any cyberpunk sickness where everybody was disappointed and felt like they were lied to. I didn't want any information so that no matter what, I was gonna love this game. And so like, I, I, I am, this is incredible. Why you keep reaching out for me? Off on another adventure, are we? The astronomy tower is cool. Dear Sadivari, you'll be pleased to hear that I've received word from my contacts at Cambridge who conceded that they had, in fact, been incorrect in their understanding of meteor showers. It seems that an Irish astronomer and a British astronomer both built upon the work done by an Italian astronomer. All muggles, mind you, as far as I know. 
to propose calculating the position of the dust at Earth's orbit as a means of connecting meteors to comets. Brilliant. Really. One can only imagine what they might do with an enchanted telescope. Frustratingly, in my correspondence, I did feel that I had to continue using the pseudonym from my days as a gentleman scholar. Whilst I still find my find it rather exciting to have a secret identity, the reason irks me. I'm so looking forward to our trip later this year to Jantar Mantar. What an adventure, adventure we shall have. I miss you, dear sister, and I hope you are well. With love, Sutrita. That was like an awesome little whole rap story. What are you up to now? Prefect's bathroom last year. This one kicks you. I missed class for a week to soak in that tub. Do it again. Surely they don't show a common room like the students. He put his leg out. Just when I think I've learned how to get around the classroom. Because they're from a different house. I don't know. I don't think it's any Maybe. Godric. Oh! Anyone who wanted to walk out through the back of the muggle has to offer. That was Peeves! Well, I had a friend who once went to a muggle doctor. That was Peeves, the poltergeist! Baron, and you killed her. And you wear those chains to show your shame. I love your story. You're awful, but it's a really great story. I think so, oh, yeah. Nice the way it said, it, it does sound like they have uh, control. Let me open. Akio. It's their spells. Oh. Arresto Momentum, Terran Telegra. They're all spells. Oh. Colo Caporus, Defendo, Protego, Alohomora. Bro, would you. Don't <coughs> come at me. If, it, if, like, the bots notice if you go into their office. Because 
Because, like, if Severus was to catch you going into his office, you know, he would have Filch skinny you. Defense against the Dark Arts Tower. Oh my god. I finally made it outside. Whoa. Oh my god. It's incredible. <laughs> wow. Whoa. Cool. Get into your classes, man. That oof. Whee! Thieves! Oh. oh, not again! Here I've come from the toilet bowl where she said I could swim. Did you practice a mole? As long as we're only one time per week, I can plunge the boy's lavatory. Not for the week. <laughs> Please, Peeves, you'll make me late. He tried to stop me, did rancorous carp, sought to trap me, confine me inside of a jar. But he failed, as did his containment charms, so I took my revenge to wreak havoc and harm. It was granted my privileges, be handsome indeed, or I'd fire up the cannon, and so she agreed. To draw up a contract with her, not with him, that if I behaved, I'd have one weekly swim. Wee! Okay, you finish. Peeves. He's been swimming in the bathroom. My, what a striking Is bit. that? You'll make quite the portrait one day. That, that is. This is Moaning Myrtle's bathroom. Is Myrtle Myrtle dead yet? No. It's not. Dude. Oh, it moves. That's creepy. Oh, that's super creepy. Oh, I don't like it. Okay, uh, let's just do this. ADD is intense in this game. It's so much. Like they put, so, I I am not mad. Like they they kept pushing it, and I was like, I'm I'm good with it. Keep pushing it. Push it as much as you want. Kitties. Hi, kitty. Cool. <laughs> That's exactly what I needed in a video game. It's so well done. I really like the Transfiguration Courtyard. I feel like I would chill here a lot as a student. Just looks like a nice place to just sit. Any news about the dragon near Pitapon Fall? 
Yeah, it's very shaded because, I mean, this is fully surrounded by the castle. Yeah, I could chill here. You know what I mean? So this one will be... Akio. No. Levioso. indeed your field guide I'm most pleased to be included Bertie bots every flavor bean what about the room professor I was thinking the same thing Deke perhaps you could help Oh, uh, excuse, Deke. Like how they flop, like... Ah, there you are. Coat. I trust your first classes went well? They did, Professor. I heard as much from Professors Hecate and Ronan. Seems Professor Fig taught you quite a bit during your brief detour near... What was it you said? Some ruins? I'd wager there's a good deal more to your travels here than what you've told me, isn't there? Nothing more, Professor. I see. Like trying to get a sonnet from a Strela. <laughs> Regardless, you must continue to build upon what you've learned. In that regard, I've asked your professors to help hasten your progress with some extra assignments. Professor Ronan did mention something about that. In fact, Professor Ronan will meet you outside momentarily to assign your first one. Now, regarding the trip to Hogsmeade I mentioned earlier, we've arranged to replace the supplies lost on your way here, including seeds, potion recipes, and spell crafts. Thank you, Professor. And Mr. Ollivander will connect you with the perfect wand. You've managed your classes well with a borrowed wand, but you'll find the magic you cast with your own wand to be far superior. There's an Ollivander's in Hogsmeade. There is. Most people are familiar with the shop in Diagon Alley. We're fortunate to have someone like him nearby. Mr. Ollivander is a genuine craftsman and highly skilled wand maker. I would trust no one else to pair me with a wand. I've never heard of a spellcraft before, Professor. What is it? A spellcraft is a recipe of sorts used when conjuring objects. I shall explain more about them when you begin working with transfiguration magic. Can you tell me more about the potions shop, Professor? J. Pippin's potions stocks a wide array of potions ingredients, although they rarely... Professor Sharp asks that they have a couple of particular recipes on hand for you. I'm eager to get to Hogsmeade. Very well. I'd like you to make your first visit to the village with a classmate. Help you get your bearings. Perhaps Sebastian Sallow or Natsai Onai. I've noticed you spending time with them. Oh no, I don't remember who is who. Or Onai or Sallow. I don't remember. I want to hang out with the. with the Salazar Slytherin relative, but he's not up here, he's gone. Um. 
I'd like to go with Sebastian. Glad to hear it. Mr. Sallow is a capable young wizard, and he knows the area. He'll keep you well clear of any of Victor Rookwood's undesirables en route. Rookwood? A rather unsavory local. Best to avoid him and his associates, including his right hand of sorts, Theophilus Harlow, if you can. Theophilus. Once you've finished Professor Ronan's assignment, your friend will meet you at the castle doors. No time to waste. Jeez. The sooner you complete your work, the sooner you can enjoy a butterbeer at the Three Broomsticks. It's so cool that Weasley was a was a head like a headmaster or a deputy headmistress at, a, at Hogwarts. Like that's so cool. <laughs> Spells the reward for completing your first assignment will be the mending charm Reparo, which is required to complete other quests. You can track assignments and their progress in the quest menu of your PFI. Oh, I ah, there you are. You have a new spell to teach me, Professor. Indeed I do, and an exceedingly useful one at that, the Mending Charm Reparo. Fixes things right up, makes a broken object good as new in the blink of an eye. Hmm. It seems as if that might come in handy. More frequently than one would imagine. As Professor Weasley mentioned, I am not the only one who will be teaching you spells outside of class in an effort to catch you up with your peers. A number of your professors have agreed to do so as well, but first, each shall ask that you complete a few preliminary tasks to hone your magic. I have arranged some for today. See them through and then report back to me. <laughs> we will have you casting Rapero in no time. Why must I first complete tasks to learn Rapero? No lesson or lecture can compare to first-hand experience, and these tasks should provide you with just that. Such experience is invaluable when mastering any new bit of magic. I'll start on the task right away, Professor. This is the right area. I wonder where the flying page is. Revelio. Accio. Got it. Flying page must be around here somewhere. Brilliant. I trust the preliminary tasks were. I completed the assignments, Professor. Marvelous. You clearly know your way around basic charms. Let us give the old mending charm a try then, shall we? Remember to be deliberate in your enunciation and movements. I want to see some vigor. Now, wand at the ready. Yes, sir. Remember, your wand is a conduit of your magic. That's it. Very good. If you would like to practice mending something, Repair. have a go with that broken statue in the alcove by the water. It allegedly symbolized heartbreak. Perhaps agility or thought it too accurate.
the dragon is cool too. Everything is cool. This bush. Revelio. said that travel broadens the mind. That's the last time I have a pollution idea that I don't write down. But it's always so noisy in the corner, and then I can't concentrate, so I end up just talking to everyone and nothing gets done. Revelio. That's why I went this way. Okay. <coughs> but there's no exit here. Well, fancy meeting you here. Revelio.
Celine Wartby and is rumored to be all that remains after she insisted on demonstrating her experimental lunar apparition charm to fellow third years. Ooh, she was a student? Oh my goodness. All that was left was her broom. <laughs> she wanted to apparate to the moon. <laughs> in front of the whole school during a feast. I need to catch up on my letter writing. I think my owl's getting cobwebs. I hope to have an owl of my own one day. Roman letters arrive every day. I don't know if I want an owl or a cat. What are you up to now? I want a cat. kind of want an owl. I'm not sure. I don't think owls make very good pets. You can't snuggle up with them the way you can with a cat. Once are you? my sister sent me a howl. Lies. Edward was super sweet. Hello, Sebastian. Ah, my new charge. Sebastian. I'm told you're in dire need of supplies, and I'm to accompany you into Hogsmeade for them. Is this your first foray into the village? It is. I haven't left the castle since I arrived. Well, I shall endeavor to be the very best of guides, then. Hogsmeade's a charming little place. Self-contained, too. We should be able to find you everything that you need. Shall we? I was glad Professor Weasley asked me to join you today. As am I. Thank you, by the way. Of course. You're the only one who's ever bested me in a duel. The way I see it, That's I'd be wise to keep it. Quidditch an Field. Oh. Speaking of Weasley, Ooh, she seems to have taken glass. quite a shine to you. Has she? That's nice to hear. I'm still surprised that a professor would entrust me with anything, given my detention. No. <laughs> Spend a lot of time in detention, do you? <laughs> Just enough to keep me well-rounded. Off on another adventure, are we? Speaking of detention, this trip to Hogsmeade might have saved me from one. Glad I could be of service. Madam Scribner, the librarian, was on the hunt for me, as is often the case. Professor Weasley came to retrieve me, and I was able to convince old Scribner that I had somewhere to be. Nice. So how did you manage to get on the librarian's bad side? Well, I suspect it's a matter of differing opinions. She thinks I shouldn't be allowed in the restricted section, and I, on the other hand, I'm inclined to disagree. Oh, just one moment. This is an excellent spot to gather lacewing flies. They're pretty to look at. If you stew them long enough, they make a powerful potion ingredient. Merlin's beard from the Forbidden Forest, look. What's going on? See for yourself. Quite a sight, isn't it? You certainly don't see that every day. Oh. You think Poppy's already seen the hippogriffs? Absolutely. Likely already named them too. Crab poop and sugarfoot. To the left is the Forbidden Forest, out of bounds to all students. Oh, hence the name. Precisely. They think it's too dangerous. I think they need to have more confidence in our defensive abilities. Ah, you can see Hogsmeade just past those ruins up ahead.
Have you had much of a chance to explore the castle? A little. It's positively enormous. It is that. I've been there five years and barely scratched the surface. Loads to see, places to discover. Oh? Any you'd like to share with the class? Perhaps one day. I can't go around telling you all my secrets now, can I? You still haven't told me how you became so good at dueling. I've always thought Thestral's pulling a carriage a bit grim. Though I suppose most people don't actually see them at all. But you can see them. Unfortunately. But you've seen quite a bit yourself firsthand too. Most notably that dragon attack. Hopefully the rest of your year isn't as eventful. Mr. Moon! He's the Hogwarts caretaker. Looks a bit worse for wear. Hello, Mr. Moon. Have you met our new fifth year? Pleasure! Uh, you might want to turn back, Mr. Sallow. Uh, turn and run. Is everything all right, sir? Oh, it looked right at me! Eyes big as saucers! What did, Mr. Moon? Huh? Demi guys. Ugly and airy and terrifying. I shall be at the castle where it's safe. Good luck to both of you. A demi, guys. I don't know what he's putting in his pumpkin juice, but he's obviously had huh? too much of it. I've never seen Mr. Moon in such a state. Akio. Mr. Moon is quite the character. My sister Anne thinks he's lovely, but I'd say he could improve a bit as a caretaker. Oh, is your My sister in too? She is, or rather, she was. She's not well at the moment, but she'll be better soon and back at Hogwarts. Honestly, if one could bottle the magic of this place, I don't know if it's the shops or the people, but there's just something about Hogsmeade. Yeah, we all flock to it say. like moths to a flame. So how would you like to do this? Weasley told me you had a list of things to get, a wand and some other bits. Yes, Dittany seeds, some spell crafts and some potion recipes. Perfect. Can't wait to see what you do with a new wand. And a short list gives you plenty of time to poke around the village. I just have to pop into a shop to find something for my sister. Let's meet up in the town circle when you're finished. Remember, have fun. It's Hogsmeade.
the Zonko's joke shop. Oh my god. I mean, it ain't Weasley's Wizard Wheezy's, but this is really cool. It's wrapping presents! Stuff like that in their nightmares. It's a with gold. That's great. This is great. Nothing for there's nothing in this store. They literally just made this store for fun. That's so awesome. Mm -hmm. Bewildering can of mystery. <laughs> That's awesome. Definitely going to Ollivanders first. You know you boy got to get that wand. I'll be right with... Ah, it's you. Um, just a moment, please. Ah, mm. Hello, sir. I'm looking for... For a new wand, yes. It's about time. Yes, uh, about time. Well, you're our new fifth-year student, are you not? Oh, what am I saying? Of course you are. Gerbold Ollivander's the name. But of course, you'll have heard of the Ollivanders, I'm sure. Finest wand makers in the world. It's a pleasure to meet you, truly. 
Now, come with me. Let's find you the perfect one, shall we? Mm, uh, no, 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 not you. Um, ah, yes. Yes. Hmm. Powerful core. Ten and a half inches. Hmm. You might do. <coughs> Here, give this one a try. Ooh. Well, go ahead, swish. Yes. Damn. Hmm. How odd. Uh, once more, come on, really swish it. Oh dear. Not that one. Well, this isn't a good match at all, is it? <laughs> uh, um, we'll find you something, not to worry. Mm, no, not you. Uh, uh, mm, perhaps. Yes. A rare wood, 13 and 3 quarter inches, dragon heart string. Let's give this one a try. Oh, 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 goodness. Oh, looks like it's back to the shelf for you. Uh, this is proving to be trickier than I had anticipated. Perplexing. <coughs> um, where are you? Perhaps you? Uh, ah, there you are. Yes. I think you might be the one. Here, take it. Crooked spiral, dark gray, beech wood with a dragon heart string, unbending 13 and a quarter inches. That's a long ass wand. I guess because it's based off my height. Okay. I like the dark color. I like all that. Can't put no gold stuff on it or nothing though. That sucks. How intriguing. Oh, that's far. That's cool. Curious indeed. Ooh. How intriguing. Curious indeed. Curious indeed. How intriguing. Curious indeed. rare and a core with a strong sense of initiative
How intriguing. What do you think? Extraordinary. Well, uh... <laughs> another wand, another beginning of a bright and magical future. <laughs> now, how did that feel? Good. Different. I sensed a sort of surge of some kind. A match. Your connection seemed particularly powerful. The right wand will learn from you, just as you learn from it. I'm eager to try it out. Of course. And a Phoenix Feather Core is terribly selective. This will be an excellent match indeed. And the bond between you and your wand should only grow stronger. Do not be surprised at your new wand's ability to perceive your intentions, particularly in a moment of need. That sounds wonderful, Mr. Ollivander. I'll let you get to it. Do come and see me again, if ever I can be of further assistance. An inquiring mind. Revelio. Pardon me, sir. I'm here for the spellcrafts Professor Weasley ordered. Matilda, student. I thought I might be seeing you soon. I am the proprietor here. Thomas Brown. I take it you've had a conjuring lesson then? I'm afraid I haven't yet, sir. Ah, but you will soon enough. It is magic at its purest, creating something out of nothing. Of course, it is not without complexity, but that is where my spellcrafts come in. Stay the course, and you could soon impress even Professor Weasley. That's certainly something to aspire to, Mr. Brown. I look forward to that day. And I, too, see in it. Spellcrafts are incredibly useful for conjuring unique items like custom pieces of furniture or decoration. But I shall let Professor Weasley do the teaching. For now, let's get the spellcrafts you need. A potting table and a potion station, yes? I believe so, sir. Good. Nothing like being able to grow your own ingredients and brew what you want, when you want. Let's have a look. Let's look at what we have, shall we? If you're interested, feel free to take a look around at the rest of my inventory.
Mad Rags Wizard Wear. This is so cool.
in the way, alright, bet. Pardon me, sir. I'm here for the seeds Professor Weasley arranged for me to collect. Ah, oh, the Dittany for the new fifth year. <laughs> I take it that's you, then. Merlin's beard. Starting Hogwarts is a fifth year. You must be positively reeling from it all. Not at all. I'm choosing to see it all as one big adventure. Well, bravo. Not everyone has the temperament to take things as they come. Name's Timothy Teasdale, by the way, and this is my shop, the Magic Neep. I keep the cart out here because I like a good chat. Can't very well be in the thick of things if I'm hidden away inside now, can I? I suppose not. In addition to seeds, I have plenty of plants. Grow everything myself. My speciality is potion ingredients. Even Pippin purchases from me. But what say we get you a packet of Dittany seeds? Let me guess, you're after something fresh. Do have a look around. Plenty of ingredients to pique your interest, I'd wager. You're gonna plant plants in the room of requirement? That's interesting. Revelio. Get potions all together. <clears throat> My side of the dormitory. Oh. Welcome to J. Pippin's potions. What's up, Pippin? Pardon me, sir. Oh, thank goodness. When I heard the bell, I thought you were Miss Lawang. Not that she deigns to come here. Though, I don't believe I've seen your face here before, either. It's my first time in Hogsmeade, actually. Is it really? Well, Parry Pippin at your service. And this is J. Pippin's Potions. Potions for all ailments. <laughs> You'll have read it on the set. How may I help you today? Professor Weasley sent me to collect some recipes. I'm new at Hogwarts. You're the student she sent the owl about. I set your things aside immediately. I suspected if you're anything like I was at your age, you'd want your potion supplies. Is it not the most fascinating art potion making? Rivals anything you can do with a wand, I've always said. A potions? They may not be as showy as spell work, but make no mistake, they are just as powerful. They can heal, destroy, protect. You'll discover all of this soon enough. As it's your first time in, I should mention that it's not just potion recipes I sell. I also offer ready-made drafts for all manner of uses, and I unveil new ones from time to time. Pop in when you can so you don't uh, miss out on anything. But for now, let's get you those recipes, shall we? What can I do for you today? Feel free to take a look at the rest of my inventory, or come back another time if you're in a rush today. Well, that's everything. Better go and find Sebastian. Invisibility potion? Dope! Revelio.
I officially have all of my supplies. Excellent. Did you get what you needed for your sister? I did. So I suppose the world is our oyster now. Let's see what else we can get up to. Oh, damn. That's problematic. Why does he have armor on? Away from the building! Away from the village! Oh, that is top hat was awesome. Ooh, there's another one. A second troll. Did you two take on a fully grown troll by yourselves? I suppose so. It's all a bit of a blur, to be honest. Merlin's beard. Are you all right? We are, and we were glad to help. I'd say help is a bit of an understatement. Nerve like that. The makings of an aura, if you ask me. That's right. If you are unharmed, perhaps the two of you wouldn't mind helping me put a few things back to where they were. Of no, course, no, Officer. No Singer. Officer Singer. And thank you, again. Repairer. I'll go and see what he wants. Lucky they didn't do more damage. Oh, this statue is of Hufflepuff Hingist of Woodcroft, believed to be the founder of the village of Hogsmeade after being driven from his home by Muggle persecutors. Repairer. That's why I argue. 
<laughs> Revelio. That's some exploding bonbons. I do. Repair it. One less thing for Officer Singer to worry about. Revelio. Repair it. Mr. Hill was just singing your praises. Hello, sir. I don't believe we've met. Allow me to introduce myself, uh, Augustus Hill, Clothier Extraordinaire. I should like to thank you for your remarkable bravery in fighting those trolls, and not to mention your help restoring Hogsmeade to its rightful state. I was happy to help. Frankly, you deserve an Order of Merlin, but I can offer you something much more useful. I own Gladrag's wizard wear, and among my inventory are some unique items that afford certain protections, as it were. Life-saving protections. And as I suspect this won't be your last dangerous encounter, I'd like to give you one such set of robes. In thanks for what you did today. Thank you, Mr. Hill. That's very generous of you. It's the least I can do. Uh, now, uh, let's try this on for size, shall we? Plenty for your perusal today. Take your time. I'd say we've earned a butterbeer or two, wouldn't you? Might help me forget that I was almost pulverized by a troll. I'd say that I agree with you. Perfect. The three broomsticks is just this way. I sell even more battle-worthy items. Revelio. Should you be inclined, you're most welcome to peruse my shop. Assuming it isn't utter bedlam in there, you might even meet Serona, the owner. She's a good one to know. Accio! said you could get to the child when they came to Hogsmeade. That all you needed was a distraction. I gave you a distraction. I just watched a student take down your distraction. Who is this child? What are you not telling me? What? All you need to know is that if you cannot get to the child, then you have no value to me. Rude. Let's go. Did they see us? I don't think so. What was that goblin doing with Victor Rookwood? Ranrock is working with Rookwood. The goblin from the Daily Prophet. I knew I'd seen him somewhere. Quickly, let's get inside the three broomsticks. It's a treat to see you, Lord Gok. I shall let you know if I hear anything. Thank you, Serona. You be well. Now, what can I... 
Oh, there's a face I haven't seen before. <laughs> it's my first time here. Welcome. Butterbeer's on me. Heard about the attack. I shall be looking in on the other shopkeepers and residents shortly. Glad to see you two escaped injury. Thanks to this one. Single-handedly took down a troll. Is that right? Well done. Thanks for this. My pleasure. I will say... Trolls in Hogsmeade. That's never happened before. Something's not right. The only brutes we usually have to deal with are... Uh, uh, how timely. Was that Lodgok I saw leaving just now? Your clientele's not what it used to be, Sarona. Not to worry, Victor. Once the two of you leave, the caliber of my clientele will greatly improve. I wouldn't do that if I were you, Theophilus. Come now. No need for theatrics. I'm only here for this one anyway. My friend is enjoying a well-earned butterbeer. Only want a quick word. Perhaps you didn't hear me. I said, my friend is busy. Bruh. One would think you all had enough bloodshed for one day. Come, the Theophilus. The Three Broomsticks isn't what it used to be. Let's take our galleons elsewhere. Can't drink butterbeer forever. Seems you've made an unfortunate enemy. Watch your back. Rookwood and Harlow are worse than any troll you might encounter. Trolls? Ranrock and Rookwood? What are you not telling me? I promise to tell you everything. But it's perhaps best I do that later. And on that note, I think we should head back to the castle. Revelio.